Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play A Long Way Down. A Long Way Down is a deck building roguelite RPG set in a dark and tormented world. Assemble your party and use your cards to survive. Fight and build your way through a dark maze of monsters orchestrated by an evil mastermind. Your choices will lead, to you, will lead you to judgment. It was developed by Synapsis Studio and published by Goblin Studio. And they were kind enough to send over a code. So let's check it out. I haven't played this at all, so I'm going in completely blind. Sam. Sam, can you hear me? Mabri, I hear you. That means your soul hasn't reached its destination. My soul? Mabri, where am I? Well, your body's in front of me. I'm giving you your funeral rites. The spirits told me they found you too gray to lead you onward. That or too rebellious, I'm not sure. I'm dead? Yes, but that's the least of your concerns right now. I'm going to try to guide you through limbo. The spirits told me that some lost souls become complacent. I convinced them to steal some weapons and bring them to you. Cards? You recognize them. We use similar ones. You should be able to face the lost souls as we did when you were alive. But here, you'll do it while looking them straight in the eyes. Papa Legba, watch over me. Hey, good, a tutorial. Because I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. Escape the dungeon. Try to find some cover. This place isn't safe. Who knows what will happen if you get caught by a lost soul. Pile of slabs. Build your path with some new slabs. Okay. Yeah, take them all. These cards can shape the world around you. Ah, that's cool. So you like build your own path. An electric relic. Let's fight. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. Okay, so we have seven energy, I'm guessing. Deals 10 damage to the target. Removes all targets' curses and restores 3% health points to the caster. Increases targets' defense by 15% during three turns. Removes all targets' blessings. Swiftly deals 20 damage to the target. So he's got 80 health. Deals 10 to 15 damage to the target and increases all allies' defense by 5% during two turns, which is what I'm guessing he's doing. So let's put some armor on us. Ah, that must be... Okay, that must be our energy. So let's thrust. Yep. And then let's give him a poke. I like the animation, it's really fluid. Increase target's attack. 3% health points. Oh, we have a lot of health. Uh, what is 3% of, two, of 250? 1% is 2.5, 2 for 6, so like 8 ish. Uh, let's save it. Although, I guess we don't need to. Might as well. Oh. Click to you. Huh. I don't know if it didn't want to... Yeah, so right at 8. It didn't want to select the card I was using. Can I use my number keys? Nope. I guess it wants me to drag and drop. So he's almost dead. Let's heal. We're still sitting all right. If we get a chance to heal, I will. Uh, we don't. Okay. Just poke him. Victory. Get Blessed Attack. Deals 20 damage to the target, increases caster's attack by 15% for two turns. Okay. 
You can retrieve the cards dropped by Lost Souls and add them to your deck on the appropriate altar. Which I'm guessing is... Oh, Armory. Swap out spells and equipment. Yep. Huh, how do I get over there? I guess it doesn't want me to yet. So let's add this. Can I change out my basic spell? Doesn't look like it. Contents of your bag follow you everywhere. You can change the equipment you wear at certain points in your journey through a dungeon. But if you die, you'll lose everything you have. Think carefully about what you're bringing with you. I got a stick. Okay. Let's keep going. I see another lost soul near you. It doesn't seem hostile. Try to parlay with it. We have the same goal. Maybe you can join forces. Aw, oh, yeah. Party members. Ah, oh, okay. I was trying to go the wrong way. Hey, Marcus. You want to be friends? Hey, you lost too? Completely. Funny clothes. Where are you from? Roman Gaul. Aquitania. Sounds vaguely familiar. Must be in Europe. You're from Africa? Almost. And yet we have no difficulty in understanding one another. The afterlife takes form to be convenient to the soul that crosses. That voice. Is that Lettuce, God of Death? Am I dead? Yes, we're both dead. But the voice you can hear is the voice of the one who's performing my funeral rites. She can speak to the dead, as I once could. Helmet of the Ram. Cool. We got Marcus with us. Hmm. So, the helmet. Do we need to go back to equip it? Here you are. You're the one who has my cards. I thought I alone could use them. Thief, you will pay the price for messing with the dungeon master. We've all said that before. Uh-oh. Bad guy. This guy's using my cards against me. I think he's the one the spirits stole them from. Get behind me, African. I've fought barbarian giants all my life. A bag of bones won't intimidate me. I really like that animation of him pulling the sword out. That's really cool. Ow. Little help would be appreciated. Stay back and let me fight. So... Oh, okay. We only have so many energy pips. But anybody can use them. What's up his attack? Oh, okay, so our main skill switches. But everything else appears to stay the same. But he has higher strength. Man, he appears to have higher everything. Yeah, let's hit him. Yeah, let's just keep that going. We don't have any heals. Hey, there we are. Why is he only hitting me? Okay, let's heal. Yeah, this should kill him. Ooh, he's way tougher than we are. Coif of protection and powder must be currency. Vanny, Vidi, and Julius couldn't have done any better. Sam, you found some powder. You can upgrade your cards like I taught you. Use the altar right in front of you. Okie dokie. I guess you want me to upgrade that. Aha! Whoa, you look like you know what you're doing. Are you a priest? Something like that. Mercury be praised. I'm sticking to you like a magistrate to a buffet. So now the question is... We want to try and go that way? I mean, our escape is over there. So let's go back. Although that would get us... 
Yeah, let's do that actually. And we can get more slabs. I don't actually want to stop there. I just need to pass through. Yep, give me them slabs. Ah, remove all walls around a slab. I like it. Okay. So what do we got here? Coif of Protection. Gives us a slash spell. 50 to 70 damage to the target. Oh, he's already got that. Well, he's got something like it. Oh yeah, he's got the exact same helmet. Cool. Hmm. I guess let's put that on us. I kind of want him to have that so he has the slash, but he deals a lot of damage as is. Hmm. Restores 15% health to the target each turn for two turns. Yeah, we'll... No. No, I want to I want to try that out. We'll leave it that way. Let's get rid of that wall. And yeah, we'll go that way. Grab some more slabs. Keep moving on. Oh, he stole a slab. I guess that's why he's the dungeon master. I've never been to Africa. Me neither. I was born in the Americas. Never heard of him. Must be in Asia. No silly. So I could completely avoid these guys. But I don't want to. I kind of want to see how this goes. To the campfire. Oh, there's a battle at the campfire. I guess he was resting here too. Uh, let's save that. I wonder if there's a way to get them to attack him specifically. Let's put the healing litany on him. And we'll thrust. Defensive attack. Deals damage equal to caster's defense. Ooh, that's pretty good. Well, that's not very much powder. So I guess the campfire only works once? Hmm. Okay. It did appear to heal us for some. Should be good to escape here, for now. Hey, we got a magical scepter. You may have some nifty spells up your sleeve, but what are you without your legionnaire? I was doing okay. African. Oh. Sam, still there? Good. I think you're alone, more or less. You should meditate with me. Review your life. That's why you're here. 
You were born to a black mother and an unknown father. Listen to the songs of the sugarcane workers. You were mixed race among the blacks thirsty for revenge. You were the whitest. If suffering shapes people, you were the most perfect of all. The ideal fertile ground for a life of conflict. Okay. You okay? Not great. Take your time to prepare yourself before you continue. Head deeper into limbo, step on the green slab. Definitely want that. Wish I had taken his shield. Well, I guess we'll go with that since, uh, Oh, we got a bunch of stuff. I guess we can't put any of it on because we're not at the right thing. Yeah, let's go down farther. Ooh, treasure chest. Kill this monster. I see something ahead which blocks your path. You'll have to defeat this lost soul in order to continue. Uh, which one? Oh, it lets me keep my slabs. Cool. Hmm. He looks tough. Well, I definitely want to see what we can do about getting some of these, uh... Man... So what happens if I run out of slabs? Well, I guess I don't. Let's see what we get in the chest. Oh, it's a battle. Okay. Ooh, against two guys. Let's up our armor. Increase our attack. And up our armor again. So minus 20% attack. Plus 25% attack. That'll almost kill him. With a thrust, it will kill him. So we should have him in just a couple of turns. A couple more thrusts will be good to go. His defense keeps going up. That should do him in. Hardening, deterioration, and some powder. Boots of movement. Can I... Doesn't look like I can equip things here. That's all right. Okay, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to get out of that. So should I make my way towards that? Or should I make my way towards here? I say we just keep moving on. I don't recognize these writings on the walls. Other souls have already given form to this place. Shouldn't it have changed when I came along? You're not that important. There's a campfire if we need it. So I guess I have 21 slabs left. <clears throat> not including the five I currently have equipped. Ah, 
Ow. Remove that curse. Yeah. What are you gonna do next? Curse attack. Me. Let's up our armor. Heal ourselves. And hit him again. Let's just keep buffing ourselves. We've almost got him. Oh, we're gonna need to hit up that, that bonfire. Armor blessing. Okay. And some more powder. Apparently that's like a extra mission we can do to not activate the campfire. Oh, but then there's another one to activate all three of them. Okay. I'm game. Ha! Ah, joke's on you. That was approximately where I was going to put it anyways. Hmm, that's interesting. It's trap tiles. So we'll move here, we'll fight, but then we'll also heal. Of course there are two. Why wouldn't there be two? So we'll heal, use our divine blessing, and pop that guy in the head. Ow. More armor. Attack and hit him. I feel like a healing potion would be really good about now. So that should kill him? Oh no, it won't. Okay. So remove his blessing. Then that should kill him. And then we'll just hit this guy. Just bonk him on the noggin. Up our armor. Defensive attack. And we're good to go. So that's cool because like the higher we get our armor, the more that attack hits for. So yeah, that gave us... Ooh. Free stuff. Hey, a health potion. I like it. Oh man. Well, that's not great. I like, um, uh, he's kind of annoying. Like, not really a threat, just kind of annoying. I do like building your own level, basically. I think that's really cool. So, oh, okay, cool. It goes ahead and puts it on my belt, which is what I wanted. Seems like a weird place to put that, but whatever. Uh, get another action during your turn. Huh, that's interesting. Can I move diagonally, I wonder? So, like, if I put this here, can I move across it? 
It does not appear so. But I can put that there. Check this out, and then fight that guy. Find treasure or bitter combat. It is not your day. The fallen king can curse its prey. Oh, uh, okay. And yeah, that's the guy I gotta go kill. If I destroy that wall, I can get right over there. Cool. Uh oh. Well, I guess we're fighting that guy. Let's up our attack. Heal. And hit him with a thrust. He's so little. Ugh. Well, I guess let's up our armor. And try and kill this guy as quick as possible, because it looks like we're taking 36 damage over the next two turns. Yep, not good. 40, 50, 60, 74. Yep, we can kill him. His head falls off. Ah, oh, so he's there. Okay. Ooh, it lets me set down a campfire. Oh, well, that seems stuck there. It's not good. Little bit of a bug. I'm not even sure how that happened. I thought that was a blank one. I could have looked at it wrong, I guess. More fights. Okay. I was wondering how to use my potions if I needed to. We should have him done this turn. Yeah, just go ahead and kill him. Hmm, that could be good. Yeah, it deals 24 to 42 damage to the target and decreases its defense by 10% for one turn. So that'd be something good to lead with. Put that, and then we'll put that. And then we'll put that. And then we should be able to get over here and kill that guy. So I want to move here. And then I want to use this potion. I will just use the one that restores 50 health. I can't use it outside of combat? Really? That's kind of weird. Hey, whatever. This guy seems tough. He looks pretty cool, though. Hmm. So where do we start with him? Uh, 
Uh, I guess let's up our attack. He's going to hit us for 58 to 63 damage. Good lord. But yeah, I guess let's get a little bit of healing in. And then I guess we'll hit him. Ugh. I'm gonna be needing to use that potion pretty soon. Armor blessing. Divine blessing. Seventy-nine percent? Okay, that's fine. We'll banish that off of you. Hit you for a bunch. Oh good. He's gonna get that all the time, huh? Cool. Armor's blessing. Thrust. Thrust again, which hits for almost nothing. Well he's tough. heal and just hit him the best we can come on <laughs> hit him I guess for one damage all right three damage we're making it home then I guess we're reshuffling our whole deck Uh, ugh. I suppose we don't have a choice. We might die against him. His defense is so high. Increase our attack once, our defense once, uh, and our attack again. That'll raise our attack again. Oh my god, I can't believe how low that hits for. And I only have the one card to get rid of it. I think we're probably gonna bite it here. Ooh, banish. Defensive attack. Yep, yep, we died. Nobody succeeds the first time. The content of your bag disappears. Yeah, we got 30, 30 powder. So what happens when we come back? So we just start here. I guess we got to keep our cards? Hmm. But yeah, that's a pretty cool game. Um, it's got some responsiveness issues. It's like sometimes I'll click and he won't move. Um, I don't know if that's just something I don't understand, if I'm missing something or what. Uh, I like the art. Uh, I think the story's really interesting. I like the music, but I don't know that it fits the theme of what's going on. It feels a little different. Don't get me wrong, I like the game. It's out in early access right now, so a lot of this could be fixed. You know, or changed. You know, early access is what it is. Uh, but overall, I think it's a pretty fun game. I think it's on sale now in early access for $17.99 or $14.99. I want to say $17.99. But uh, thanks again to the, to the developers for giving us a code to check it out. I enjoyed it. And uh, let me know if you want to see more. So as always, thank you so very much for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.